So we've had the Jupiter family and the Halley family comet. So what about the long period ones? So these are you know, the ones I'm interested in and <laughs> researched okay. in. So let's show our solar system again. So we've got Sun, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, Jupiter out there. Yep. And now we're going to show you the simple orbits that long period comets there. So here comes one of them. Yep. And another. And some more. So I'm kind of noticing something. I mean, some kind of just pass almost straight through. You know, some of these other ones behave maybe a little bit more like the shorter ones as they get near the sun. But they don't really do that kind of really quick curve around the sun like we saw in the other comets. Yeah, so these are definitely orbits. But one thing you can see is they're coming from every direction. Yeah, and, but also, yeah, different inclinations. Uh, but, and some are in different directions, as you said, with the... Jupiter family, or the long, the Halley's family comets as well, they can come yeah. in. So like the Halley's comets, they come from every direction. Yeah. But these things are not in elliptical orbits that come back. It's not that you can see in the inner solar system. They just seem to zoom in and zoom out again. Yeah. And so this is looking out at these whole things. So it's every direction, and they appear to be like parabolic orbits. Yeah, because, I mean, in theory, this is just going to keep going out and out and out. There doesn't seem to be yeah. any way it's going to come back. So let's around. look at just one of these things and then have a zoom in on its orbit. So let's yep. bring it in. It'll come in from behind you. Yep, there it is. Um, and so it comes in from way beyond the orbit of any of the planets and then loops around and heads back out again. And it definitely didn't do that kind of curve that we've seen with others where it really starts to come back out. It's going at a different direction. Almost. So we're zooming out here and you can see it's following an almost perfect parabola. Yeah. Um, so if you remember um, our families of orbits, yep. so you can get a circular orbit very much like the Earth around the Sun and you can get increasing eccentricity. These are conic sections where you take your cone and slice at different angles. That's right. Uh, so a more eccentric orbit would be an ellipse. And then you get a parabola. Mm -hmm. So elliptical orbit will come back and depending on elliptical, it might take longer and longer. Parabola is perfectly balanced between coming back and never coming back. Okay. And then you get hyperbolic orbits, which will just whiz past and, and disappear go. off. Okay. Um, and so, short period comets, whether it's Halley's type or uh, Jupiter family, are elliptical orbits. Yep. And the long period comets, as far as we can tell, are pretty damn close to being parabolic orbits. So they're right on the balance between never coming back and coming back. Okay. And to investigate that further, we're going to have to talk about the energy of these things. Okay. So let's have a bit of a digression now and talk about the energy of different sorts of orbits in space. Okay.